Hi, it's Cameron Reynolds, and I have a beekeeping tip for you how you can make your boxes last just a little bit longer if they're in this situation. This is a 16-year-old box I purchased from Walter T. Kelly, the first batch of new boxes I ever purchased. Now, I didn't paint them properly. I should have primed and painted the tops and bottoms of, of them, but I was told incorrectly that, oh, the bees will manage that. They're going to seal that up for you. You don't need to do anything except the outside. That is ridiculous. You don't necessarily have to do the inside of the boxes, but it does protect them a little bit longer if you do. But definitely the top and bottom edges, especially in places like Tennessee where we get mud for Christmas, you've got to have protection on that top and bottom parts of your box because we get so much moisture during the winter and we will rot in the winter months as well and it'll soften it up. Anyways, that's what happened to this box right here. There's just all kinds of rot and you know, it's a shame because it'd still be a good box had it been better taken care of. You can see where I didn't do any on the top either. I only have a little bit of damage up here though. And I'm going to, you know, clean that out a little bit and then we're going to wax dip this box. And so we're going to turn it into a medium super by cutting it down. So you got to make sure that you're not cutting onto your screws or your nails or whatever. You kind of can if they're like a thin staple, but it's, it's not recommended. Definitely wear some eye protection with this kind of stuff. And we're going to zip through that here in just one second. The switch went out on my table saw. So I've got to order a new one. Right now, I had to wire it in just a little bit different. It came in special. There we go. really good. Thankfully where we cut it wasn't quite where there was a nail so this is going to work. Now I did go ahead and make it just a little bit longer than your average medium box. I'm okay with that. I'll end up with a slightly bit more burr comb in between frames but it's better than having to buy a whole new box. And this wood right here looks really good. There's still a little bit of something right here where it looks like a termite went through but still solid in this corner. Once we you know, clean this up a bit and we wax dip this, we're going to have a, another medium box. And we're just going to get a little bit more life, especially with coating it again and cleaning it up and doing that. It's going to be great. So this is just a short little video. Maybe you have some equipment you accidentally did, did this to. And you can get a three, four, maybe five more years out of it if you protect it good. So first of all, Learn from this video and make sure that you don't listen to those guys that tell you that the bees are going to seal up these inside corners because it's a very common misconception. There's a lot of those little things in beekeeping. It ends up costing you dollars because you end up getting rotten equipment way too prematurely. So, thanks for watching our videos. If you have any questions on what we did here, leave it below.